Hello there, I've been really loving the Bad Batch final season, series 3, and whilst it is a bit bittersweet that it is going to be the final series, I have enjoyed making mocks of this, so before I show off today's mock, do head over to the community tab to let me know if you too are enjoying these mocks, and whether I should keep doing this going forward, there's a load of series, not just Star Wars, but perhaps even the odd Marvel one that I'll do, making mocks every week when there's a new episode or perhaps every couple of weeks let me know by going over to the community tab and voting in that poll of course this is a video that's recorded early so there's going to be no spoilers for today's bad batch episode and what we have here i am pretty confident in saying is my smallest bad batch mock so far but it definitely doesn't have the least amount of figures well I guess any amount of figures is not the least because I built a brickheads, but what we have here is the interrogation scene after the batch visited Teth, which was the place of last week's episode, and of course we saw what happened there. Before we continue, did you realise that Teth was one of the original Clone Wars planets from the movie all the way back in 2008? As soon as I spotted that outpost that the clone underground were in, it brought back some very fond memories of the rescue of Rotter, and if you didn't notice that, go watch the episode again, and perhaps you'll see what I mean. But... There's a bunch of different terms that they have introduced with this whole arc. First off, the clone underground is Rex, Echo, and their batch of clones. You can also see a Hauser in the background. I believe Hauser was the clone that was sat in when the batch had arrived and were interrogating them as Hauser was the clone with Rex, and he's one of the main ones that doesn't really trust Crosshair because of what happened with the Sundulas. We have CX1 here who... They introduced a clone assassin in season 2 and called him Clone X. Now we have CX1 who I guess is the next iteration of assassin and then CX2 is sent to wipe him out and this has all happened in last week's episode. There's a little sneak peek of one of the play features of this little build because you know how I love the movable doors. But we have five minifigures here on this little 10x10 play and as you've already seen the door does pop off, there weren't enough space to get any mechanism to slide the door open, so the least I could do was have a door that could pop off, and actually if we take a look at the back, you can see I've used some 2x4 panels to get that angle of the door, which really should come down a little more, but I think that gets the idea of it across, and that is what these studs clip to, this is what the door looks like, and that just clips to the corners of the wedge plates, and there's enough of a connection to hold them both in place, at least when I'm not putting my finger through the bottom of them. But you can see there's a few different details around the scene. I think we'll start off with the clone. So, of course, we've got a Hauser here. The hairpiece not really representing him too well. A little more off the sides would have been better, but I am limited to the hairpieces I use and still no flat top hairpiece. It hasn't been in a set that I could find for nearly two decades. So we are using the Wolverine hair piece again. I used that for a clone recently, and I think it was actually for my fives because I got so many Wolverines from the Marvel CMF, and hopefully they keep the QR codes. That's not something that'll be happening in the future. But we do have Rex, who doesn't have his pauldron or any of the other ammo pouches, nothing on his torso. So he's just using a regular torso, which if you've actually picked up the UCS Venator and have the Rex from that, you can just switch out the torso with one of the Phase 2 Troopers, the plain ones from the Battle Pack, preferably not the Coruscant Guard Troopers, or as I have with just one of the older Clone Troopers. Hauser at the back does have the old Clone Pauldron, though again, if you have any of the other Pauldrons, I'm sure you can get away with using them, and as it's a different shade of blue that we don't really get from lego i've gone with the same blue arms as rex just to show they're on the same team and of course we do have a crosshair minifigure in his uniform which you might not have seen lego release and that's because they didn't crosshair is again a custom clone the only non-custom clone is hunter here who just sports his regular hair which isn't the best but it's what lego gave him so we're gonna go with it now crosshair does use Wrecker's torso and legs and as Wrecker does have the shoulder piece going over the torso you could probably get away using a different torso for Wrecker as long as you find the gun metal arms I guess you could probably get away with Sabine's torso from the latest Ahsoka sets I'm pretty sure that's a gun metal color 
and Darth Maul does have some robotic legs you can steal if you wanted to whack them on either Crosshair or Wrecker. But as there's no Wrecker in this scene, I've whacked them on Crosshair and they do a nice job giving him his old uniform back. Again, that's one of the minifigures I would really like to see alongside a new Phase 2 Wolf, which we do have this image from one of, I think it was from the Apple game, but... We know there is a design out there for Wolf and it would be great to see them with a new Omega minifigure. And who knows, perhaps a few other named clones. Now, not many made it out because of CX2 who was coming to assassinate CX1 here who is made using Crosshair's uniform, the Imperial, I guess some sort of Death Trooper outfit which makes sense because Crosshair was originally going to be trained for a clone assassin and I guess they wanted that accuracy which they might have taken some traits from the blood they were looking at transferring the M counts how do we know they didn't transfer a few of the other abilities too and a lot of people online and I mean a lot a lot of people at this point we just want tech back but a lot of people think that CX2 who was assassinating CX1 is actually tech but I feel like they didn't give us enough of a hint in the series there was not really much tech side of the clone besides the fact that he rerouted a transmission through his ship but we've seen so many other people do that I think tech is still yet to show up and that was just another clone perhaps it could have been a named clone but as their names are scrubbed and they go through so much conditioning before becoming an assassin I don't think we're really ever gonna find out but we've seen people survive worse drops than just falling off a waterfall so Perhaps it's not the end of CX2. And as I said, Hunter's minifigure is just the same. We've got a Cloth Karma on Rex that you might not have seen, but the main details are in the build. As you can see, I've put a load of different accessories here. We've got a spanner that is just clipped onto the stud. We've even got a telephone, which I'm not quite sure what tool that's meant to be, but we've got scissors, we've got a spanner, and these are in the scene to make them look like torture devices but we do know that the clones do not hurt their brothers so they're probably just a bunch of tools they had on the side which I'm not sure how wise it is leaving them near a prisoner let alone a clone assassin that they know is going to be just as skilled if not more as themselves but we do have a keypad by the door so they can get in and out as well as the lamp which features in pretty much any other scene in this room and I think I have got the shape of the room or at least the size of the room now down quite well because it is a very small room you don't really see anything around it I was going to add a crate here but my fiance pointed out they wouldn't have stuck a crate next to a clone assassin that could use it to get away but then again they do have all these tools on the side it would be lovely to get one of the helmets for the clone assassin because we could get a few of them and we've seen three assassins so far I'm sure there's going to be a few more that they send to try and pick up Omega but it would be nice to collect a few of them and similarly just a few different sets from this. We also have the Revora and well the Revora one which is the little leech vessel we see them escaping that would be great to include as some second build to a Imperial carrier which we could see a few commandos and Wolfie for and that little leech vessel could just sit perhaps Hauser or Rex or even that could just sit crosshair in that's how we get the crosshair minifigure because we've already got Rex we've already got the batch we've got an Omega minifigure I guess we've also got a crosshair but it'd be nice to get him in his uniform and perhaps a little happier expression than the seriousness on his face there now crosshair doesn't have an alternate expression I don't think any of the batch actually have any alternate expressions not that I guess Hunter has an angrier one, but none of them are exactly too happy. It'd be lovely to get some more Bad Batch figures in their updated armour, perhaps some arm printing, but that might be asking for too much. I was originally going to build the Revora for this episode, or at least the Leech Vessel Revora 1. However, because we don't get too many good angles of the ship, I really wanted to put together this interrogation scene, because this is where we find out so much information about how there are more clones that are being sort of brainwashed to be clone assassins and it just goes to show we're definitely not done with them in this show. Anyway, thank you so much for sticking through this video. I know it was a lot of me talking over the mock, but I'm happier with this smaller design. Who knows, perhaps in the future I can get a few more of these and stack them up in a pyramid like I'm sure you've seen a few times before. But do drop a like if you did enjoy the video, subscribe for more awesome LEGO content and may the bricks be with you always.